Well, this video is not for children. It's not for kids. This whole video will be about censorship, what you can say and what you can't do, how naked you can get, and all that shit on YouTube. The moral of the story is, folks, is there is censorship in everything we do. There is censorship in every aspect of our lives. But from the clothes we wear to how we carry ourselves. If you're not being censored by someone else, then you are censoring yourself. And that's the thing that all Americans and all people have to do. You have to censor yourself. You just can't go to the basketball game or the football game or anywhere and cuss, fuss, act the fool, smoke weed, drink, have sex. There's things that you can't do. So we are censored. So what you talking about, Lonzo? What you talking about, Daddy? This is what I'm talking about, folks. This is what I'm talking about, people. When you do your videos on YouTube, because I just saw one, and this young Asian girl is smoking so much weed in this video, and then the first comment I read is, aren't you worried about censorship? You've seen my videos, and how many videos have I done without a cuss word? At least three. Three out of 38 videos have no cussing in it. One has no sound at all. One has a little kid jumping around with music in the background. And the other is the music that I played for my father's memorial piece. Other than that, the world I live in, people cuss. People scream. People smoke weed. People drink it. People have sex. In the world we're supposed to live in, you ain't supposed to see, smell, or hear any of that stuff. Should I just stop this video now and say you've been tubed? No. Because I have a lot more to say. When you censor yourself before anybody else can censor you, you can pretty much say whatever you want to do. It's the words you choose to use. To express what you have to express. So if you stub your foot in the morning and you live in your living room, oh, if you stub your foot in your morning and you live in your living room, no. If you stub your foot on the coffee table while leaving your living room, what are you going to say? If someone hits your car, it's an accident, what are you going to say? Somebody slaps your child on purpose, what are you going to say? The police pull you over. You don't know why they're back behind you. What are you going to say? See, in real life, people cuss. You can have your kids with you, and when you stub your toe, beep! You can have your kids with you in your car accident, beep! You can have your kids with you and you get the wrong food in the drive through beep! I'm beeping myself because, uh, it costs money for me to actually hook up something that beeps for me. So I just go beep when I want to cuss. I just beep. But you have to understand how much censorship will people go through? There's a porno tube. I was going to sign up for that and just put my music videos on there with some booties shaking and some asses and titties. Yes, I said ass and titties. Is that cussing? Is the word ass a cuss word? The word titties a cuss word? Is the word porn a cuss word? Listen, like I said, when it comes to censorship, you censor yourself. I might cuss and say a whole bunch of things, but I've never once said any of my videos were for children. Not a one of them. Even the video with a little kid in it, to me, it's funny. To me, anybody can watch that. But if they click on that one video and see more from my website, or for the page, or the channel, then the rest of it is not for kids. So what I want to try to tell everybody out there is that whatever you do, we don't know who's watching this stuff on YouTube.
So if some little kid get a hold of your stuff and then a parent see it, you will be flagged, suspended, or shut down. Now, nobody showed me anywhere on YouTube where there's a button where I can put a rating on my videos. If I could rate my videos, I would rate my shit PG-13 or PG-18. Well, nobody under the age of 14 or 15 should even listen to any cussing. Oh, you say 14 or 15? Oh, why gosh? Why so young? It's because at 14 and 15, those little bastards are doing more cussing at school than you and me have ever done the whole time we went to school. These kids nowadays have seen more in their short periods of time than most people older than us have seen in their entire lifetime. So how can we censor some people who have already seen things that we don't even think they've seen yet? How do we know how far these kids' minds have progressed in the years in which we stopped paying attention to them? Yes, we have all stopped paying attention to kids. Unless it's my kid, I don't give a damn. Is damn a cuss word? Well, like I said, this YouTube is not for kids. Because if you think YouTube is for children, you're grossly mistaken. Now, there's some things that happened on MySpace that I wish never happened to YouTube. Because I don't want to get done like that. I don't want some little girl watching my video and thinking that uh, she should have no regrets in life. I don't want no child watching my video thinking that... Uh, they should uh, attack the borders or, or stop people from, from having a good life because they misinterpreted the words that are coming out of my mouth. But the moral of the story is this is censorship. Do I think YouTube should be censored? It already is. Watch what you do and watch what you say on YouTube because you can get shut the down. They didn't beat that time. You get shut down. So let's all be adults in this community what we call YouTube and not allow ourselves to be censorship off of YouTube not to be shut down because uh, you replied to a video where some lady's breast popped out you know or you know somebody says uh, kill a white guy or kill a black guy or some dumb shit like that don't find yourself suspended shut down tubed off because this is not for kids this is not for the weak this is the real deal this is the reality TV at its best worst most vicious and dangerous weak mind need not apply so if you don't have nothing to say don't say anything don't go around flagging people because you don't agree with what these people are saying. You think this person should watch their language, then maybe you should turn off your computer and turn on the Disney Channel. Because in real life, when you stub your toe, when someone hits your car, when someone breaks your window, when you come home and find your stuff has been rampaged, whatever happens in life that is not good, that's bad, negative, downing, you cuss. Yes, you do. You cuss. You, I'm pointing right at your ass. Is ass a bad word? You cuss. And if you cuss at home, in front of your kids, in front of anybody else, don't come on YouTube and censorship anybody. Censorship. Don't flag people for shit you don't understand. Is shit a bad word? Censorship. Nobody wants to be censored. So um, let's keep our shit together on YouTube. Stop fucking up. Making bad fucking comments and saying dumb ass shit that motherfuckers don't want to fucking hear. Do what you got to do to get your point across. Let's not lose this opportunity to keep getting our points across the people who aren't heard can be heard through YouTube let's not say the wrong things to stop your voices from being heard thank you and you have just been tubed